Can you believe this? Oh, it's a Loretta Lynch. Wow, that's his number one choice. Is that did that actually come out today? Huh? That's being floated around, and of course, she was handpicked by by Al Sharpton. Donald, can you believe that? Uh, yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so that's where they are. Well, look, I, look, I'm not asking you to make me a Supreme Court justice when you become president. Don't get me wrong, but somebody's got to stop it and say, "Don't do this until there's a new a new uh, a new president, whoever it may be." And I hope it's you. The Senate should be able, with a majority, they should be able to do it very easily. It's not that long a period, and they should be able to do it. But you know they've been letting us down all year long, and they've been letting us down for years. So we'll see what happens. But Mitch McC Donald, you know that just five, six days before Scalia was found dead with a pillow over his face, he was the lead voice against Obama's attempts to railroad that green gangsterism down our throats. He, he knocked it out. He was the one who did it. Yeah. Well, so, you know, it's very again, look, I, I'm in talk radio. You're running for the presidency. It's two different worlds in some ways. And I don't want to drag you into my world because it's, it's quite a different world, by the way, than the one you're in right now. So before you get to the elect, uh, the, the primary, which is what, Monday, uh, Saturday? When is the primary in South Carolina? Saturday in South Carolina, Saturday. The voting day is Saturday. 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 So that's another big day in America that we're all going to be watching. What do the polls show right now? Well, it shows that I have a lead in the polls, but you never know what happens, and I just hope everybody gets out and votes. You know, it's called Make America Great Again. I hope everybody gets out and votes, but uh, I right now have a lead in the poll. Who knows what it is, uh, but we'll see. We're going to know on Saturday night, Michael. You'll be watching. Yes, I will be. Donald Trump, good luck, and thank you for uh, being kind enough to come on to the Savage Nation. Absolutely. Thank you very much, Michael. See you soon. Well, there you have it from Donald Trump. I find it to be very sad because I think Cruz is a good man. I think Trump is a great man. And I don't like seeing this warfare because it's very, very good for Hillary Clinton. That's the bad part of this. And now I want to go back to the topic of the day, which is the death of Scalia. And I think we have to get back to that. Was Scalia murdered? And I gave you an hour and a half on that. And we have to talk about it because there are so many suspicious elements. On Facebook, I put up a question that night on my Facebook account. I have to read it to you for one minute. Please bear with me. I, today, of all days, have 200 pieces of paper floating around, which is normally 198 pieces of paper, but today it's 200. Now, <clears throat> there are people who have copied my Facebook page, and many of you are on the wrong page, so listen to me carefully. There are many imitators and fan sites out there. The easiest way to follow me, Michael Savage, on Facebook and Twitter is simply go to my website, michaelsavage.com, and click on the Facebook icon at the top and the Twitter icon. These will take you to my real sites. So I go back to when it happened, when I read about it, the pillow over the head, and I put up a, a statement. Where this was right after the profile of me in the New Yorker that I reran because I, I don't think people know sufficiently know enough about me to even judge who I am. And I put up a question about that. Then I dropped it, and I put up. Oh, here it was. Saturday night at eight eleven a.m. the next morning. Where is the toxicological report on Scalia? That was number one. That's all I asked. Where is the toxicological report on Scalia? Right. Then this morning, I link an article from the San Antonio newspaper, and I say this on Facebook now. Scalia found with a pillow over his head. Some dare not see the truth. Hello? So now all of a sudden, 110,000 people are reached in a few hours. Do you think all 110,000 people are crazy? Do you think that everybody in this country just watches Oprah Winfrey and the Kardashians? I'm afraid maybe more so than you believe. I'm starting to believe that, well, I forget what I believe. It doesn't matter right now. The question is, there's sufficient doubt about the official story, which has changed several times, that there should be the equivalent of a commission, a Warren commission on the death of Justice Scalia. Interestingly enough, Earl Warren was a very liberal Supreme Court justice, as you well know. Just as a side note, Earl Warren was very, very uh, liberal. And I remember that, well, some halls that you see Berkeley were named. There was a hall, Warren Hall, if I'm not mistaken, named for him. That's neither here nor there. I just remember his name on the top of one of the buildings. So who's going to steal the presidency? Who's going to steal the Supreme Court? Why doesn't the family want an autopsy? Why are there so many discrepancies? 
why was there a pillow found over his head? People do die in their sleep all the time. Do any people sleep with pillows over their head? Robert, do you sleep with a pillow over your head? I mean, I heard people sleep with pillows under their head. I know most cultures, people sleep with pillows under their head, but we'll hear soon from uh, Chris Matthews that, oh, no, no, it's very common in the Italian culture to sleep with a pillow over your head. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know many Italians sleep with pillows over their head. That, that's how it's done in Old Italy or in Queens, New York. They all sleep with pillows over their head. That's what you're going to hear now. The, the cover-up's coming now. The cover-up. So what is going on here? Sheets pulled up nicely to his neck. Hands were crossed in his chest. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Justice Scalia dies at ranch resort owned by Democrat Party donor and Obama award recipient. Oh, my God. Holy God. Wait, it was natural causes? No, it was a heart attack. Wait, they found him in a bed with a pillow over his head? Bed clothes unwrinkled? He was at the ranch with no security because what? Well, I don't know. Did you hear Obama's speech after it happened? Oh, you got to hear this one. He was, by the way, take a guess where your president was when it happened. Fundraising. Where else? Either golf or fundraising. That's all. Either having a party in the White House, golfing, on vacation or fundraising. That's all. That's his job. It's a nice job to have. You get Air Force One around the clock security. You could start wars with impunity. Doesn't matter what you do. You get covered for by the uh, newspapers. So you go out and raise money. Everyone tells you you're great. You go on vacation. Everyone tells you you're great. You go golfing. Everyone lets you win. So why do you think that you're a... Uh... Let's play the remarks by the president on the passing of U.S. Supreme Court justice and go to break. Robert, just a little bit of it. For almost one. 30 years, Justice Antonin... No, no, no. Play Nino number Scalia. two. Where he said, play the number two I point. That's the best. plan to fulfill my constitutional responsibilities to nominate a successor in due time. Now, there will That's be plenty it. of time for me to do so and for the Senate to fulfill yeah. its responsibility already announced it two to days give later. that That's person a fair time. hearing and a timely vote. Yeah. Yeah. All right. These are responsibilities that I take seriously, as should All right, everyone. you got the picture already. They got it lined up. Back in a minute. I'll be here for another hour, and all I want to talk about was the Scalia um, passing. I open our one with, was Scalia murdered? Plain English, it's what everyone's asking themselves who have a skeptical, anyone with a skeptical mind, and who would not be skeptical with this regime, is saying, wait a minute, this is suspicious. Five days after, Scalia knocks Obama down on the mat, knocks him out with the green gangsterism. He's found dead. Say, all right, it's coincidental. Then you got all the cynics out there say, oh, come on, it's just a conspiracy theory. No, nothing to see here, let's move on. I believe there are so many factors that haven't been adequately discussed or answered, and I'm not alone anymore, that there must be the equivalent of a Warren Commission, immediate autopsy. I don't want to hear cremation is over with and they can't do it. Once I hear that, it's over, finished. Then it's a, a, a guarantee it's a conspiracy. Guarantee you. Now, why was there no investigation so far? Toxicology, a, company, a search for, elite, for fibers in the lungs a search for fibers and nasal passages, marks on his chest to show a struggle, if he was suffocated, in fact. Or was the pillow a, goo a ruse? Was that not the method used? Or did he just wake up and die and pull the pillow over his head? Well, the questions need answers for a man of this importance with such a suspicious character as Obama in the White House. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE-SAVAGE. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation. Talk radio for the thinking person, home of borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. First of all, it's a very sad day in America that a man of his stature died. Let's put aside everything for the minute. 
He was an intellectual giant. He grew up from the, in the same kind of lower middle class milieu I grew up with in Queens, in a different part of Queens. An attached brick house. Believe me, I understand his background very well because I grew up in it. You know, a 20-foot wide house with a lot of 100 feet long. Three bedrooms, one bathroom upstairs, a half a bath downstairs. I grew up with it, with a garage under the house. And he went to to the Heights. And he was the razor-thin difference between total the, the abyss that we will have if we let Hussein get away with what he's trying to get away with. And leads us back again to the main question today, which was, was Scalia murdered? Now you say, oh, that's horrible to even ask. Can't you be nicer about it? I could be. But it's what those with a skeptical mind are asking in a country that's been torn apart by this gangster regime. Let's. Th I'll have to start all over again for those of you who can only think of it's put in the context of your political orientation. So let's start from the other point of view. Let's say, God forbid, it was the most extremist left-wing justice, Ruth Bad Girl Ginsburg. And let's say, even though she's been sick with cancer for over 10 years, she decides to go to a remote resort in Texas... She has no protection. She goes to sleep at night at 9 o'clock saying it's been a long week and I'm tired. She's found the next morning fully clothed with her pajamas on without a wrinkle on the sheets with a pillow over her head. And to top it off, there's a Republican president with a few months left to go. You're telling me the left wouldn't be screaming for a, for a warrant commission and an autopsy? Of course they would be. So don't tell me I'm wrong. Just put it the other side of the on the other side of the uh, of the coin here, and they would be screaming. Donald Trump has no right to appoint anyone to the Supreme Court right now. He only has uh, X months to go. He can't do it. That's what they'd be saying. You think they'd be demanding an investigation? Yes. That's why I am asking for an investigation and an autopsy. That's all. How come you haven't heard one word from the corrupt Republican Party? Answer: Because they're a corrupt party. They don't exist for any reason other than to advance their own agenda. Period. So I, I did it. So that's what's going to open it up again. Now there's other elements that I have to repeat again for those of you who just tuned in. The resort was owned by a Democrat donor and a Barack Obama award winner. That's important for you to understand. John Poindexter, I'm sure he's a fine man, but he is a Democrat, a donor to the Democrat Party. He did receive an award from Barack Obama. He's the owner of the Sabillo Creek Ranch that Supreme Court Justice Scalia was found uh, dead at this weekend. Did you know any of this? Or you, I don't think so. It's President's Day weekend. Why bother with this? Just get drunk. Be a good American. Get drunk and, 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 and clog your arteries. That's all. It's your day off. You're entitled to clog your arteries and get drunk. That's what you're supposed to do as a good American. In fact, if you don't clog your arteries and your brain, if you don't fog your brain with alcohol, and you don't clog your arteries with saturated fats and other garbage, then you're probably an anti-American. In some way, you are probably, you probably should be investigated by the U.S. Public Health Service for not uh, promoting the, the foods and toxins that are necessary to kill you fast and, or keep you alive as long as possible under the care of a quack. I don't know. Do people still want to talk about this? I hope so, because I, I think it's worthy of talking about. And as the thought leader in talk radio, yes, I am. I don't need anyone to approve of that. I, as the, I am the thought leader. I have given you so many facts today that you didn't hear and you're not going to hear for a long time from toxicology to methods of killing somebody without and leaving no trace, no metabolites. So many things were learned today that I'm surprised that you don't sit up and applaud me right now. And that will give you the exercise you need to stay with me for another 50 minutes. So everyone listening to the show, please rise from your sofa or get off your lawnmower or dismount from your toy horse. I, you know, I try to imagine the audience what they're doing on a day like today. Here in California, it's so beautiful you could cry. We're having freak weather. We're having freak summer weather. And it's because of a high pressure zone that's bringing in the hot air from the desert way up in Northern California. I, it's, I mean, I, I like it a little bit, but the truth is I like my fog, if you don't mind. I moved out here for the fog, not the sun. If I wanted sun, I would have moved to Hawaii or to San Diego. So it's freak weather. People are paddle boarding. They're boating. It's beautiful to see. And uh, I, feel, I already went into summer mode. I ditched the, the winter clothes. I put on the summer clothes. I spent two interesting afternoons with the dog. You know how you go, like, to a remote area with a dog sometimes? Do you ever do that? Anyone raise your hand? You know, no people. 
I went down near the Golden Gate Bridge.